Hi, I'm Larry Dahlberg, and as many of you know, I love to make stuff. And usually when I'm making stuff, you'll see me downstairs in my workshop. Well, I like to make other stuff too, other than just lures. I made this butcher block table, and now I'm gonna show you how to make what I think is the most refreshing summer drink that you will ever taste in your life. It's called ginger lemonade. And here's what you need for ingredients. Lemon juice, you can have a, use a lemon if you want, but you don't need to. About three quarters of a pound of ginger, a bunch of sugar, a container like this, a powerful blender, and last but not least, an old pair of pantyhose. I first tasted this in some restaurant, and I asked the cook how to make it, and they would not tell me how to do it, so I called my buddy a compounding pharmacist. My plan was to make a tincture. He said, Larry, don't do it that way. You have to boil alcohol, and you'll burn up your house. So I cut it into little slices and let it set overnight for a while. And if you let it set long enough, it came out pretty good. Well, I'm not a person who likes to wait. So I figured out a much faster way to do it. You put your uh, ginger in here, uh, yellow ginger, white ginger, the juicier it is, the better. And I'm pouring in a little lemon juice just to uh, allow this to be easier to remove from the blender. I started out here with a, a full bottle, and I'm gonna just all right. That's step one. Now here's where the where the secret ingredient comes in. That is these pantyhose, and you can see that I've already made one batch out of this pantyhose because there's a leg missing. And actually, the whole concept for using these pantyhose comes from an experience I had off the coast of East Africa. Actually, I think I was in, in Mozambique. And you have to look for holes in your pantyhose. Usually pantyhose are torn, I found, uh, near the toe. So what I'm gonna do is just tie this off at an angle, about like that. I could cut off the excess, but I don't have to. I'm going to take these pantyhose and just kind of put them over the, the lid of my jug, like so. I just want to make sure that I've got a good leg exposed. Make sure it's the right one, yep. Right. And then it's a fairly simple matter. I'm taking this slurry. mixing the other ingredients. Check out just exactly what inspired this when we were in, uh, in Mozambique. The next day is too windy to go offshore, so we take 80 pounds of chum and fishing friend Steve Yatomi planning to drop anchor and chum into a channel off the point of an island. Only problem is, we've left our chum sack back at the lodge, but luckily, we have Marilyn along. So we're gonna just cut the mesh out of them and we'll make a chum sack out of it so Steve doesn't be stinky all day. <laughs> you perfect. enjoyed that a little too much. <laughs> we sew up these legs. Oh, it should be perfect. The anchor still on? Yeah. That ain't good. Steve, grab me. Man, that is a big one. Okay. for the team. All right, we've added our ginger, and I'm gonna put in, and this is just to, just to taste. I'm putting in about two cups of sugar. 
And I don't usually do a lot of measuring, a lot of tasting, but not that much measuring. Put in a full bottle. Actually, I think I'm going to use two bottles. I'm pouring in a second bottle, and the reason is that I make it like super, super concentrated. And then when I want to drink a glass of lemonade, I'll dilute it with however much water uh, I feel I need. And this is going to take a lot of water. It's just going to be really lemony. And then, what I have to do is put the lid on. Make sure your lid is tight. And I just really, really shake it up. And unlike the slicing method, this is ready to drink just as soon as pretty much you get done shaking. Oh, that's lemony. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> that's good. You can add water. To make it however you like it, but give this a try. It's really good, and with the ginger, it's really good for you too. <laughs>